Hey there YouTube and fountain pen people. I'm Joe. You're watching my channel Ink and Iron and today I'm at you with a uh, set of pens from a company called Sherpa Pen. They are actually local to me. I live in Colorado and they are based in Denver. So uh, yeah, this is a pretty interesting set. The um, original set is this right here. So you get a uh, marker cover. This is for a standard Sharpie marker. It just slides in there. You take off the cap, slide it in there, put the section on, and then uh, seals it up with a press fit. It's really nice. I got a Colorado themed one because, well, I'm from here and uh, the state flag is actually pretty cool. We do have the state flag here little bit of the uh, Denver skyline as well as uh, an outline of a horse. This will only make sense if you've been to Denver. If you fly into the airport, one of the first things you see is a giant blue bronco and uh, it's called Blucifer. Uh, it is evil. It uh, killed the artist who was constructing it. He actually never finished it. A piece of the horse fell off and severed an artery in his leg and he bled out. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the horse is evil. It is now one of the uh, state symbols. And then we have a representation of the uh, Front Range Mountains here, which is the beginning of the Continental Divide. So yeah, on the cap band, we have the Sherpa logo, nothing else really. Decent clip, this does work in jeans pockets as well as shirt pockets or purse pockets. So whatever you're rocking. I've got a chrome rounded finial here and a chrome rounded uh, butt on the barrel as well. The grip section is perfectly round. This is a this is actually hard plastic. This is not an o-ring so this is what interacts with the cap. The cap sealing mechanism is wobbly at first until you hit about here then it's a nice smooth transition. Uh, if you've ever had a Faber-Castell loom it has a similar feel. So uh, that is an endorsement. It is a good cap mechanism and it posts. So if you're looking for something just to hold a Sharpie and be a little bit more elegant in day-to-day -day use, you can get just this marker cover and um, that's fine. However, you have more options. The marker cover comes with a rollerball refill. And by refill, I mean a standalone pen that happens to fit inside of this cover as well. So this one, a plastic clip, a little bit cheap maybe. Uh, it is 0.7 millimeter line width. Again, the Sherpa brand on there. And pretty standard rollerball. The grip section reminds me of Pilot um, V5 and V7 precise rollerballs. I'll show you how this writes in just a second. Um, so these two things together are uh, $44.95, I believe, so about 45 bucks. For $14.95, you can add a fountain pen, and this is a Sherpa brand fountain pen. It is weirdly reminiscent of something between a, uh, whatchamacallit, Platinum Preppy and a Lamy Safari. You can see we have a very large clip, a la the Safari. The nib looks very Lamy-esque right? And so does the grip section. We have a triangular grip section. I'll see if I can highlight the flats. There's one, two, and then one on the bottom. So it does force your hand into a standard grip. So if that's not your thing, you know, be warned. It does post as well. All of these post and it fits inside of the uh, cover over here. So I believe it only comes in a fine nib. Otherwise I would have tried to get something broader. It did come with a converter, which uh, I don't have here, but it did come in the box, and this cartridge. And this cartridge worked very, very well. I, I pressed it in and it basically shot ink in. Um, let me actually add the clip so you can see it. So it has to break a seal, so I'm just pushing. Come on. There we go, okay. And you can see we've got ink flowing, kind of shot into the section there. Well, yeah, filling up pretty quickly. 
getting towards the tip pretty fast. So that's awesome. It's got a good flow rate, evidently. So as you can see, the ink really flows through this um, section in here and uh, provides a very wet writing experience, which is very nice to have in a fine nib pen. So this is a pretty solid entry level pen on its own. And the fact that you can just slip it in here is really pretty awesome. I will say one thing you lose when you do this is the triangular grip section. So now you are forced to use this uh, very round, very slick section. This, this section is really meant for the rollerball and the Sharpie, I believe, because when you're writing with a fountain pen, it has a tendency to kind of roll the tip around and that makes your writing kind of skippy and weird. However, it is a nice robust metal, this is metal, case for your fountain pen. So if you're so inclined, you can do that. And I have done it. I kind of like the pen alone by itself more. However, as a set of three, this is this would make a pretty awesome gift or, you know, just a nice addition to a current collection. So we'll do a little writing sample. I'll show you what I've been up to with this set of writing instruments. Here we go. Got a Rhodia pad. This is 80 grams per square meter paper. So let's do a little Sharpie here. Uh, pen. There we go. Write smoothly. I'll show you on cheap paper as well in just a second. Let's use the roller ball. Posts on the back, like I said. Very smooth writing experience. Yeah, good stuff. I haven't had it skip yet, so that's nice. It seems a little bit finer than a 0.7. This, this sort of looks like a 0.5. And let me show you just by, you know, let me compare it to the fine nib on this fountain pen real quick. See what I mean? See how this line is bolder? However, like I said, this pen is very wet, so that may have something to do with it. But uh, yeah, there you go. For, for 60 bucks for three high quality pens, plus a refillable. Oh, it, it came with a Sharpie, by the way, a fresh brand new Sharpie. So you really do get three writing instruments plus a cover that fits all three. So as far as a bundle goes, pretty good. I am enjoying it very thoroughly. Um, let me prove it to you. So I did a previous video and a writing sample, so you can see more of this. This is the Sharpie, the rollerball, and then the uh, fountain pen. But I've just been taking notes, trying to brainstorm a new cat tree for my cats, weighing it down with bricks and stuff. So this is the Rhodia paper again, and then here is some just cheap composition graph paper. So we can see I used the Sharpie and the fountain pen on this. And here's the bleed through. Obviously from my coloring in, the Sharpie went all the way through. But even going really heavy with the fountain pen, it's not that bad. I mean, it bleeds through a bit. It definitely ghosts through pretty consistently, but that's to be expected with this cheapish paper. So yeah, there you go. A couple of size comparisons and then I'll let you guys go. So here's our three pens. We've got standard Sharpie in a red color for a little contrast. Um, here's a, a previous Sharpie cover that I've tried. This is this one actually had like dedicated refills, which was kind of annoying. So yeah, this is a, a pretty nice alternative. Plus the clip broke off within like a couple of weeks on this thing. So Sharpie's own covers are not the best. Got a, just a Bic lighter, you know, for size, size comparison. Here is a Pilot Friction four color pen. Really like this thing. And erasable. 
Here's a Bic. This is just a mechanical pencil. I don't know if it has a, a name. And all the artists know this one. This is a Micron pen marker. I guess it's a tiny marker, a little felt tip. All right, and there you go. So, like I said, you get a Sharpie, the cover, and the rollerball for about 45 bucks. The fountain pen is an additional $15, but uh, for 60 bucks all in, not bad. If you're trying to get someone into stationery, into pens, and, and you know, high quality writing instruments, this is a pretty good place to start. Uh, I don't know that these things are manufactured in the US, I just know that the brand and the design are US. Um, I'll, I'll put it down below if it's actually made in the US because that would impress me pretty, pretty greatly. Okay, and uh, that's what I've got for you on this set from Sherpa Pens. Highly recommended by me. You can see I've been using it all day. So yeah, it's a great writing set. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, as well as uh, I review knives and multi-tools, and I have typewriter content, stick around, like, subscribe, do the things, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.